All right, guys, today we're going to be testing a Razer E200's battery to see what's going on. Our Razer scooter is not working. These lead acid batteries go bad very quickly, and this is your way to pick up some cheap scooters at garage sales, Goodwill, Salvation Army, or even finding them in the trash like I did with this one here. Beautiful condition scooter, by the way. You have to lift up the top of the scooter. You have two screws up towards the front. They're Phillips one and two. Then here in the middle section is an Allen wrench. You have two screws, one and two. And then right behind that are two more Phillips one and two. Just be careful not to strip those screws. And back at the back, you have Phillips screws with small nuts that are right there. So grab yourself a little wrench, put it underneath, hold those tight, and then use a screwdriver, or in my case, an electric drill to remove those back ones there. Then you pull off the top, obviously set it aside. Then you have a cross brace with a little pad right here at the bottom that's kind of blending into my mats here. And that is on top of the batteries right here. I just lifted this one up and over right here. And this is how we're gonna test the battery. We have our black and red wire coming from our batteries that clips into the black and red right here, this clip right here. We want to be testing with a multimeter this section right here. So I have a multimeter right here. I will link this in the description box below. This is just a cheap one, but it does the trick. I have my plugs into those top ones right there. I have my switch over here to DC volt 200 because obviously these batteries register more than 20. So I have it on 200. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stick in, the red is coming off of this side here, the further side. So we jam in the red, and then we jam in the black where the black is coming in over this side here. Just make sure that you're touching the metal inside and not the plastic so you're getting a correct rating. Let's go ahead and look at our multimeter right here. This should be fully charged, but we're registering at 0.8.3. That's not enough juice to make this scooter run, unfortunately. So these batteries are bad. And again, I'm testing this after having this on the charger, 12 hours, maximum 24 hours, no more than that, and then test them before you do buy replacement batteries. So unfortunately, these lead acid ones are shot. We're gonna go ahead and recycle these bad boys, get some fresh ones in this scooter, and, and get back in the scootering game. So guys, before you throw money at batteries or something else or chuck it, or if you want to fix these scooters and then resell them on Craigslist, hopefully this video has helped smash that thumbs up button. If it hasn't, subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of goodies on this channel, a lot of Razor scooter hacks. I hacked my other Razor E200 over here to do 30 miles an hour, 1000 watt controller, lithium ion battery swaps here. That's all on the channel, guys. And make sure you look in the description box below for the multimeter and replacement batteries for your E200 Razor scooter. You guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.